<laughs> Here, you want to play with singing ball? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Play with your singing ball. Mm -mm. No money. Money. I'm trying to do something. Good over so mommy can share. Mm -hmm. You're in my way. Uh. Ew. Oh. Ew. Oh. Oh. <laughs> If you haven't noticed already, I am locking my hair. I am two months currently in. I'm super excited about this journey, this process. So let me go ahead and start wetting my hair. I'm gonna be using this lock up stuff to actually twist it. And then in here, I made some sea moss the other day. So I put the sea moss from water in here. And then I also added some essential oils like bergamot, vetiver, um, orange, was it orange? Lemon, lemon and a few other ones. I didn't want the sea moss water to go to waste. So um, I was like, oh, well, I need something to retwist my hair. So let's do that. It's the energy, a little bit of energy up in here. It smells so good. It smells so freaking good. Let's start with why I decided to lock my hair. Basically, I decided to start my locks because honestly, I was tired of like doing my hair. I was tired of doing my hair. I didn't feel like I really had the time for that. Like I'm a single mom, so I, I don't have the time to be doing stuff. Like to be honest, um, it was just a little bit too much. I have a natural since 2012 and you know i'm used to like caring for my hair in a certain type of way and stuff like i've always just been really anal when it comes to my hair but after having my daughter i'm not gonna lie like it became a little bit harder to find the time to do my hair um i was struggling i was struggling to really care for it and I went through a stage where I was like, well, I want to get locks, but I also want to get color. I absolutely love um, my locks so far. And I know I'm not fully locked or anything, but I'm loving the experience. And I've had like, I've done mini twists on myself before. And I've never enjoyed them as much as... I am um, enjoying this process right now. Like I'm truly enjoying this process. I don't think, like, I, I think I'm beautiful, but I think like with these locks, like I'm just feeling even more beautiful and just forming that self love piece um, when it comes to myself. So yeah, like I'm just really enjoying the process and I'm happy that I'm doing it. I wanted locks for the ease of getting my hair done like i figured i wouldn't have to do it nothing but once a month and that be that like really with washing and stuff and then also like with that um yeah i wouldn't have to wash it nothing once a month but like although i would have to moisturize it it wouldn't have to be like twist outs and detangling and all of that stuff like who got time for that so what I'm a single mom. I ain't got time for that. So I'm like, whatever, girl. Like, come on, let's go ahead and lock our hair because it just needs to be done. I really have actually grown to love locks, like how they look, how they're so different. Because the thing that I like about um, natural hair is just the versatility of everything. So, well, of the hair. And I was like, well, with locks, are they really that versatile but i started seeing like more and more styles also when it came to spirituality like i just felt like it was a way to kind of get closer to my ancestors closer to myself and stuff and um it's just a journey that i wanted to go on so here i am I actually hit two months uh well here's the thing <laughs> i don't know i really don't know i do know but i don't know I don't know if I want to go by the first or the second and I probably would go by the second I did them on November the 1st and I realized that they were like way too um, big like the sizing was way too big like it wasn't how um, the size that I want I went from like 60 to like 
almost 100, I think. I realized like in the front, my hair is like, um, a, like a different texture too. So I don't have as much hair in the front. And I was just like, mm, no, that's not okay with me. Like, I'm just gonna go ahead and basically like redo them in the front. So that's what I did, I redid them in the front. And then um, I was there. So that brings me to my next thing. How many locks do I have? I have 92 in my head. So basically with me, like third time was the charm of getting <laughs> things right because I just, ooh, I'm, I'm like really picky when it comes to things sometimes. And so I just wanted to make sure like, you know, I'm locking my hair. So I want to make sure that like, my hair is how I want it, obviously. And so for me, with my parts, if you guys have noticed, like with my parts, I'm not really particular on parts because, well, I am, but I'm not. Like I have a straight part in the middle, which you'll see once I get done. Um, because I don't think I showed you guys in the beginning. But I have a straight part in the middle, but the rest of them are kind of like free parted. When I got box braids and stuff, I didn't like for them to be boxes. I like for them to be curved because of like how my head is shaved, because of how my hair is. Like it just looked better on me. I knew how I was going to, you know, wear my hair. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Back pain. Mm-hmm. Back pain. Yeah, baby, that's a hairpin. Yep. Hairpin. 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 All right, y'all. So I am back. I am back. I have done over half of my head. So this is what your girl is looking like. Like, and I just thought I would come back and answer a few more questions. I got wrapped in a phone call that I had to handle some business, and um, yeah, so you girls back. So, originally, like, I was gonna color my hair first, um, that was the game plan to color my hair and then lock my hair, but I had ended up getting um, color tested. Happy I was saying I was supposed to color my hair, but then I ended up like getting in color tested and then one day randomly I was like, you know what, I'm just go ahead and lock my hair because I had been going back and forth about it and with my condition, my medical condition, I was supposed to like have surgery, but I'm no longer having surgery and I didn't want like my hair to be unhealthy and stuff after surgery because I hear like sometimes like you just have issues with your hair. I've never had color, like I've never had my hair dyed before, like this little test strip that she put in there, like I've never had it. And so I'm just so interested to try it and just experiment with it and just, you know, embrace change. That's really what like this was about. Locks are so simple, like so simple. Like I just feel like you wake up and you still look pretty. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like fake eyelashes. Like I'm a fake eyelash girl. My favorite hairstyle is pretty much like updo. Like sometimes I have it half up, half down. And then sometimes I'll just have it all up with some in the back. Like the ones that's on this side and then the one that's kind of budding. I like wearing that one out because it's like, oh yeah, you know I'm liking. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like it don't have to be perfect with locks either. Um, and that's another thing I like about it. Like, I'm the type of person in my life, I always kind of like strive for perfection. I just feel like with this, like I don't have to really like feel that way or um, try to tackle that or try to accomplish perfection with this because locks are already so beautiful. So. You just make it like your own individualized journey. Like, you know, um, 
it doesn't have to be like anybody else's it doesn't have to be perfect because nothing is perfect in this world like absolutely nothing is perfect in this world and so this is just like a very humbling experience for me i feel like like none of my locks are the same they're beautiful they're all beautiful some have curly ends some don't have curly ends some you know are like budding already some are not some are untwisting um some have so much frizz like my hair has so much frizz it doesn't make any sense um how much frizz it has but it's a part of the journey like at first i was kind of getting wrapped up in perfection a little bit like when i started i wasn't but then i was like oh well let me go ahead and take some of these strands and twist around it but to be honest i stopped doing that like i really stopped doing that probably like a couple of weeks and i stopped doing it because i'm just like you know it kind of is what it is like my hair is always gonna do what it wants to do like my hair has always been like that it always does what it wants to do so why not let it do that the whole point of like my life you know i i want to feel free i want to feel safe i want to feel secure and why won't I give the opportunity to my hair to feel safe, secure? Like, tell me what phase are you in with your hair? Tell me what phase you are in with your life. Like, have y'all, how was 2021 for y'all? Like, let me know. <laughs> for real, I really want to know. 2021 kicked my butt. Like, literally kicked my butt. Was throwing all types of hands. I never knew uh the strength of these hands like i never knew them. um but it was it, they were being thrown and you know i ducked and dodged a few of them but some knocked me down and you know i got right back up i picked myself right back up you know i'm still standing i'm in a whole new year and this year is going to be very abundant for me you know i speak that into existence with every part of me forget how 2021 was tell me what 2022 is going to be like for y'all what goals do y'all have if y'all have any um i know you know people do new year resolutions and stuff like that so let me know but anyways i'm gonna come back with the final look i got a few more to go so i'll be back okay guys i'm back i took my I'm just gonna do um, two little braids and go in there. Thanks for tuning into this video. I will have another one coming really, really soon. Bye.